So we're going to discuss the dot product in this video and why the brilliant formula for the dot product in terms of components works. So the dot product is essentially a way of multiplying together two vectors from three-dimensional Euclidean space and the answer that you get out from the multiplication of these two vectors is going to be a scalar value, i.e. it's going to be a real number rather than uh, another vector. So the spirit of the dot product is that you are almost multiplying the lengths of the two vectors together. So uh, here is the formula for the dot product. We have a vector a and a vector b shown here on the picture. Here is the vector a and here is the vector b. We are dot producting the two of them together and the way that this is defined is it's equal to the modulus of vector a, so the length of vector a, times the modulus of vector b, so the length of vector b, but then there is this term cos theta where theta is the angle between the two vectors shown here. So what does this mean? Well that cos theta makes this more complicated than if it was uh, just defined as the modulus of a times the modulus of b but also much more interesting than if it was just defined to be equal to that. So how do we interpret this? Well, imagine splitting this expression into two parts. The first part being the modulus of vector a, so the length of vector a, and then the second part being the modulus of vector b, the length of vector b times cos theta. What is the meaning of this second part, the length of vector b times cos theta? Well, the picture shows this quite well. This is the length of the component of vector b that is in the same direction as the vector a. So what you can imagine doing is taking this vector b and splitting it into two components, a component that is, uh, that is parallel in the same direction as the vector a, and a component that is perpendicular to the vector a. And if you take the length of vector b and multiply that by cos theta, this is a right angled triangle that these two components form with the actual vector as the hypotenuse. This modulus of b cos theta gives the length of this component in the same direction as the vector a. So what this definition is actually saying is we are taking the length of vector a and multiplying it not by the length of vector b, but by the length of the component of vector b that is in the same direction as the vector a. And there's a beautiful symmetry to this. So we can take this expression and rewrite it as this. After all, all these three parts are real numbers and we're multiplying them together in the real numbers and multiplication in the real numbers is commutative. So we can commute the length of vector a and the length of vector b to change the expression to this. And now what we can imagine doing is viewing this expression as the modulus of vector b times instead the modulus of vector a cos theta, a different way of viewing what this means. And what does the modulus of vector a cos theta mean? Well, this now is shown in blue in the picture here. So just as we did for the vector b, we can split the vector a into two components, a component that is in the same direction as the vector b and a component that is absolutely perpendicular to uh, the direction of vector b. And the modulus of a cos theta, again, this is a right angle triangle with the uh, vector a forming the hypotenuse here. So modulus of a, which is the length of the hypotenuse, cos theta gives you the length of this side, i.e. the length of the component that is in the same direction as the vector b. So here we can see that the meaning of the dot product is the length of the vector b times the length of the component of vector a that is in the same direction as the vector b. So it's really very beautiful. You can view the dot product of the vector a with the vector b as either being the length of vector a times the length of the component of vector b that is in the same direction as the vector a, or you can view it as the length of vector b times the, compon the length of the component of vector a that is in the same direction as vector b. Those two answers are exactly the same thing, and that number is going to be uh, the dot product of the two vectors.